We all know the primary job of a flight crew is to get the plane and its passengers to their destination safely. But in recent years, crew members say unruly passengers have left them not only struggling to do their job, but fearful for their own safety. West Shoes Amanda Deuce got exclusive access to a self-defense class being taught right here in Orlando that's meant to give flight crews their confidence back. A little crick every time. Take your right arm, just big circles, nice and easy. Why are we here? Stretch it out a little bit. This here is to help you. I'm going to drive through. At a training center just outside Orlando International Airport. So I'm going to take a little step. Strike! Get back! Get back! Get back! Get back! Strike! Flight crew members learn up close and personal self-defense. All right, think about it as moving around the bad guy. All right, so I'm going to step. Federal air marshals train the crew members, all who come on their own time. When she goes to jab me, I'm going to step out here. The classes, which were suspended during the pandemic, are in high demand. You have those disgruntled customers, so you're always wondering, is this going to e escalate to get to a, a worse situation? The FAA reports over 1,300 cases of unruly behavior on board passenger planes so far this year. 2021 broke all records with close to 6,000 unruly passenger incidents. We'd like all strong males to the front of the airport to handle the problem passenger. In many of the incidents, the passengers who attacked crew members were drunk and belligerent or angry over mask mandates. In this argument over a mask, a Southwest flight attendant was left with a bloody face. Last year, the FAA instituted a zero-tolerance policy fining passengers up to $37,000. If you're disruptive on an airplane, it's absolutely unacceptable. It's not something that we're going to take lightly. Got my hands like this. The FAA is going to fine you. You could end up in jail. Vocally tell that individual that whatever they're doing, he or she needs to stop what they're doing. Strike! Stop, stop. The air marshals push the crew members to become confident using their voice and their strength. Strike! Get back! This training isn't intended to teach crew members how to beat up on passengers. It's meant for situations where lives could be in danger. So he comes towards me, right? In one scenario, they learn to disarm someone with a knife. Things do happen, and I want to be prepared for that type of situation. So I think learning how to protect myself with a knife, because uh, I would I would never imagine myself in that situation. But help! Secure help! The help! Weapon. Help! Now that I've help! seen it, I, I I have the confidence to know what to do. And the classes are offered monthly at no cost to the students. They learn quick. The hope of the instructors is the next time a passenger gets aggressive. Stop! Help! Get back! The crew members will feel confident defending themselves and the safety of everyone else on the plane. Stop! Amanda Dukes reporting, West 2 News. This flight crew self-defense training started in 2004 and recently resumed after being suspended during the pandemic. The TSA says so far 30,000 flight attendants and pilots have received this training.